Ever wondered why the tiniest little things can have a big impact on your mood? Why sometimes you might start behaving differently according to how someone else has behaved towards you? I'm neuroscientist Dr. Jack Lewis. Mention the words customer service and people may well roll their eyes. But if you think about it, it comes up an awful lot. After all, it's something that we encounter many times every single day. It not only affects the way we think about something, but now a study by American Express has revealed that it also has an impact on the way we feel. And not only that, it also affects the way we behave after we've experienced it. I go to the same coffee shop on the way to work every day and the guy there always remembers my order. That's the kind of thing that makes me feel good when it's easy and, and it's hassle-free. Us Brits' expectations of service are pretty low. And that has an interesting effect because when we do experience good service, it comes as a genuine surprise. From something out of the ordinary like free plane or train upgrades down to everyday conveniences like getting fast and efficient service both in person and on the phone. Even small things like getting clear and precise directions or simply someone remembering your name. Just someone smiling at you and being nice to you, that's the things that matter. It really makes me feel special. I go to the same news agent every day, he knows what newspaper I get, he gets it ready for me. That's nice, that's good service. Good customer service is a valuable thing and it can make a big difference to your day. The research tells us that over a third of us Brits are so blown away by superb service that we immediately feel compelled to share it with others, be it verbally with friends and family, or increasingly these days, via social media. The first thing I want to do is go and tell my friends about it so that they can have the same experience. And I'll probably post something about it on, on Facebook or Twitter, um, and just generally, yeah, want to spread that good service. One in 10 of us share positive service experiences on Facebook and Twitter. And once these stories start to travel, there's no stopping them. The research tells us that tales of great service can travel an average of almost 4,000 miles. What's more, 44% of us aren't content with merely experiencing great service. The really nice thing is we feel naturally inclined to pass it on and do something nice for someone else, like a domino effect. So why does great service make us feel so good? It's actually remarkably simple. Fantastic service causes a surge of activity in the parts of the brain that produce pleasure. Breathing rate slows, heart rate increases, and associations with things like anxiety and stress fade away. These positive responses come together to form one of human nature's greatest gifts, a tremendous sense of well-being. So, the next time a barista remembers exactly how you take your coffee, or you have a particularly helpful conversation with a call centre, stop and take note. You might just find it makes you feel better. And if you find yourself tempted to pass it on, go ahead. You never know how far it might travel. <laughs>